Hey everyone, Sophia here for my great challenge.blogspot.com. This is me looking for a job because I only have one week left of unemployment. The living room is a disaster. We got a dog over there, the other one I don't know. Look at the mess here and then the kitchen is no better. I have been sick for over a week now with a whole bunch of issues and I'm probably gonna get a CT scan sometimes today. And yeah, I have a lot of work to do. So guess what? Yay, another cleaning video. So I tell you, I don't know what's going on other than me being sick and my husband coming home super late. The kids are busy, they're doing their own thing. They got the summer camp going on. I am just overwhelmed. I can't keep up. I just can't keep up. So I have to clean the house today. I'm gonna take you along. It's just another cleaning video. It's gonna be a lot of fast forward, but I gotta get this stuff done because I just can't take it anymore. I have things I need to do. I need to finish my office. I need to put some stuff for sale on eBay. I have to do a schedule for my studying because I'm doing my test. Uh, for my license sometimes in September I'm not sure yet the day but the bottom line is that I just can't get to do the things I need to do with an environment that looks like this so let's get started I'm cleaning so I kind of have my own little routine here when I start doing the kitchen the first thing is empty the dishwasher from last night and then put in all of the new dishes that should have been done already but obviously um, because I've been sick things have been falling on the wayside so here we go let's empty the dishwasher So I gotta tell you, most of the time, I just don't know how you guys keep up. Like, how do you manage? It's constant battle to get stuff done in here. Granted, most of the time I'm the only one cleaning, but lately, because I haven't been feeling good, everything's been falling apart. So look at the sink. This is all of the uh, dishes I've gathered from the dining room and the uh, uh, kitchen. Again, dishwasher is empty, so now I can finally put all of this stuff in there, start the dishwasher. Next, I'm going to do all the counters, and I got more dishes here that need to be cleaned. All right, stop licking the dishes. You are disgusting. All right, dishwasher is full almost. I'm gonna close this for now. Um, I have one big baking pan that's gonna sit for a minute. This has been pretty much decluttered. I'm just gonna stop with this area. I'm gonna wipe everything here. I'm gonna move on to that. And the reason why I'm doing all of this is because I want this to sit so that way I can finish it once it's clean, put it over here and then do this area right there. This is another concoction of mine. This one is basically a little bit of bleach and a lot of white vinegar. And then I added a little bit of that Korean uh, oop, right there. And I added a little bit of that Korean dishwashing detergent. It's basically the same thing that I've done, but I have more bleach than anything else in here. And that's what I'm basically using to clean my surfaces in the kitchen.
it's only been uh, 15 minutes I've done all of this this is all clean buffed this is all clean everything has been taken care of now I have the dishes here they're still soaking and then all this stuff that I need to take care of five minutes and the counter is all clean this is it all right so let me tack all these I uh, have little dishes here that can go in the dishwasher the big one I gotta wash by hand and dry by hand and I just have to do this sweep the floor uh oh dog dishes need to go in the dishwasher sweep the floor mop it and I'm done with the kitchen bam it's done 25 minutes that's all it took the entire kitchen is clean so it's uh, still wet on the floor I used the uh, wet jet I just talked about it in my uh, bathroom cleaning so the kitchen is pretty much tidied up it's all clean and disinfected I'm ready to move on to the dining room and the dining room the endless depository of crap in my house everything in here is a hot zone everything if there's a flat surface stuff goes on it if the dogs could get on it they probably would so what do i have to do all right so that's for my city scan um for later on i have to go at 3 30 so i have to basically clean all of this i'm going to start with the corner over there walk my way out do the whole tablecloth and remove all of the stuff that's here all of the stuff that's over there i have one of those um Risenthal baskets this is where the stuff that goes upstairs needs to be placed so i'm going to put that on the table and basically whenever i see something that doesn't belong here i'm going to put it in this basket i absolutely love those they are pricey um but you can always find them on sale put the link down below if you're interested I like these because they get flat like you can remove this like an armature inside so they can like totally flatten and no, be no thicker than this so they're great for travel and then the super light because it's aluminum and fabric so yeah I'm just plugging this one in and this one I think was the special edition
Okay, so I have all the surfaces have been uh, decluttered. I don't have anything here anymore. Uh, this basket I keep here, but it's just a little bit of stuff. Uh, that's my machine. I'm still working on it. That's the uh, sewing machine. I got one more curtain to do. This is my basket that's full of stuff that needs to be brought upstairs. Tablecloth has been changed. I have my basket here with all my planners and supplies. And then all of this here has been decluttered. All I have to do now is dust, sweep, and mop. So I timed myself and it took a little bit under 35 minutes, but I have the whole dining room swept, mop, dusted, changed the tablecloth, you saw that, and kind of reorganized where I needed to reorganize stuff. I really wish we would create the habits to stop using the surfaces as hot spots. So what am I gonna do? It's a real home and basically we got kids and we got adults in here and it's just, I don't know how you guys do it. For those of you who watch YouTube and see those houses that are constantly impeccable. I don't know how they do it, I really don't. Now, moving on to the living room. So living room, I have some boxes here that need to go in the basement. These are my friends, he's selling this tray right now. Um, on eBay, so we got to put it aside. It's gonna go down in the basement That'll kind of dust everything here and there and then maybe like declutter like maybe get rid of the dog. Nah How are you? Hello? Oh Yeah, you're real enthusiastic, aren't you? Yeah, that's right I'm gonna have to move you because you gotta go in your crate so I can clean the living room. She's a good boy Yes, she is all right, and this one over there is getting jealous. So what I gotta do, I gotta remove this. Yeah, a pair of shoe right here. Yeah, that belongs there. That's supposed to be the remote basket. So I got another dog there. Hello, Puchika, you're a good girl. Yes, she is. All right, so that, and then dust here, dust over there, move this thing. Have to dust the entire um, bookcase here, and then I'll tackle the stairs later on. But basically, yeah, and that's my basket that needs to go upstairs. And that's it. That's what I gotta do in the living room. So let me get started. Uh, so again, this is gonna be a fast motion thing because you really like don't want to watch me like in real time clean and dust and uh, I don't know plus it's uh, kind of fun to watch anyway.
that's done. Uh, it took about 45, 47 minutes to do the uh, entire living room. And um, I mean, I don't usually always like go over my uh, cushions and things like this, but it was kind of grimy this time around. So yeah, all right. So I did spend some time on this. Um, this is what it looks like right now. So it's been pretty much all dusted and decluttered and clean. Get down. I just cleaned this. You're the culprit. You're the one. You're the one. He's constantly doing stuff on the sofa and you're the one who's leaving all the mess. Yes, you are, but I love you. I'll clean for you. Yes, I will. Okay, bye-bye. This is all dusted. You've seen me do that. And uh, right, so this is still drying, but like I said, the little um, Dawn and Vinegar solution really does a good job at removing like kind of like those stained things. So it's not a deep clean. I've done a spring cleaning video of this living room. The link is down below. You can look at it right here uh, where I show you how I actually get the rug doctor and everything for the living room. So the uh, link is up there or down below if you want to watch this. And all of this has been done and I actually swept the entire floor. So all I got to do now is mop. I'm going to start using my wet jet on the top here, do the stairs and then move my way out into the living room and again a little bit of the dining room. What I'm probably going to do is uh, rinse the pad that's on it a couple of times in between because I know that the stairs for instance is really grimy so I'm going to do the stairs, rinse the pad and then I'll do the living room afterwards. So I'm breaking a sweat, but I'm done. It's one o'clock in the afternoon. I started a little bit after 11 o'clock. So technically I did my entire floor under two hours and I did some stuff I don't usually do like, you know, cleaning the spots on the sofa. So I have an entire first floor that's clean. When you walk into my house, my living room is clean and dusted. And of course he's back on the chair and the dining room is done and dusted. Everything's been change the floor is really nice no streaks i love that wet jet all of the rags oh the light is horrible in here oh that's better um all of the uh, rags that i've used are in here including the tablecloth and all of that this is all going to go separately but it's all going in the wash that's why it's in basket already and here's the kitchen you remember it it's still clean so yep an entire floor under two hours not bad and it was cluttered and it was dirty and it was dusty and um, I've done so many cleaning videos on this channel. I am no longer embarrassed by the mess in my house because by now you know it and uh, you probably recognize the dust bunnies. They keep on coming back. For some reason they just won't go away. So this is it. Listen, I love watching cleaning videos. I know you do too. Now that you're all excited and motivated, go clean your own house. It doesn't have to take you two hours, but go do clean something because I've just energized you to do something in your home. I hope so. Let me know down below if I did. Um, I'm glad I did this tomorrow. I may actually do a whole cleaning of my second floor Which is gonna be kind of cheating because yesterday I did the whole kids bathroom So I may just do like some spot cleaning or whatever But I'll do the second floor and then the day after I'll do the third floor and then I'll do the basement So we'll have the entire house clean for this week And then of course I gotta do it all over again next week because it's a never-ending story the cleaning of the house Give me a thumbs up if you like this video subscribe if you new check out my other cleaning videos my organizing videos, DIY, beauty, not, not that you could tell considering the way I look right now, that I do beauty videos as well. And that's about it. Leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Share this video if you really liked it and I guess I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching you guys. Bye!